We're pushing the envelope here. So we treated a butternut squash like we would do with turkey. Hope you are ready to come with me on this journey and blow people's mind with a dish that would blow everybody's... I was on a good roll there. <laughs> so we're gonna treat this baby like we would uh, a piece of meat and we're gonna stuff it like we would do for a turkey. And then we're gonna roast this low and slow and make a gravy and some cranberry sauce. FYI, I have never done this before. This was just me thinking at a red light, okay, what can I do that is different for Christmas? And I'm telling you, this might be a winner. Let's find out together. Chef knife is your best option here. This is very hard to cut. <laughs> Look at this. We take this out. What do you think, Monty? Yeah, one down. So now what we're gonna do here is uh, put a trench, a trench, like a uh, citrou uh, here, like just like a, a, a trench, right? Like a channel, there we go, even better. So we're gonna hollow it out a little bit of the squash here. And don't worry, we're gonna use this again in the stuffing. There you go, we saved this for our stuffing. There you go. All right, second one. Do that with a spoon, that way you don't uh, hurt yourself with a knife. So, for now, salt, nutmeg, and olive oil. Olive oil. Fresh nutmeg, microplane, microplane. This I'm putting nutmeg because it goes very well with uh, butternut squash, in my opinion. We're using uh, Maldon salt here. And olive oil. Put that aside. Oh yeah, see it looks so pretty already. Now we're gonna rub it and we're gonna let it, uh, I don't wanna say marinate, but just sit there for a couple of minutes until we're ready to make our, uh, stuff it with our stuffing here. So I cut a loaf of bread yesterday, it could be a, a mish, a boul, a brioche, dice it up and I just left it in my oven overnight. Super simple, just watch your fingers, simple as that. Grate the carrots. Just regular stuffing, guys. That's what we're doing here. Yes, grate this baby. Watch your finger. Everything. That's my dog's favorite, by the way. Just go four corners like that. See, there you go. Done. All right, now we're ready to cook this. So we want this to be wet. We don't want it to be dry. So, touch of oil. Some butter. High, medium, not too high. So at this stage, we're gonna saute our vegetables, onions, les oignons, le celery. We're just gonna cook this till it's translucent. No color, you don't want color. Garlic. See, this is unacceptable. Whoever cut this is fired. That was me. <laughs> it's okay, man, it's Christmas. So see now it's already getting translucent. That's what you want there. We're gonna add our apples. That's got a nice sweetness. And the butternut squash and carrot. The natural sugar from the butternut squash and carrot is gonna add a sweetness to it as well. And what do we usually do at this stage? What do we usually do? Come on. Pizza. Yes, sir! <laughs> now you're talking. And this time we're gonna be generous because there's no, we didn't put introduce salt anywhere yet. Pepper, my fancy machine. <laughs> Look at this, there's a light underneath, right? Oh, the light is burned out. Uh, sage, dry sage, we're gonna crumb that up. Some uh, poultry seasoning, just to remind you of stuffing. Some cinnamon, dry thyme, black pepper, and salt, so trust me. It's gonna be all working perfectly. We'll find out at the end anyways, if I'm lying or not. <laughs> and at this stage, we had our uh, seasoning. So we, again, open up the flavor. All these uh, nice spices comes out and comes alive when you warm them up like this. And then squish and rub that sage. Three minutes, five minutes, lid on. We'll come back to you. It smells so good. Are you okay, Monty? Your tie's kind of upside down there. 
You had a rough uh, Christmas party, I guess. <laughs> yeah, see, perfect. Now that's what you want. All the nice natural juices. This smells like Christmas, come on. These lovely um, croutons. I know it's gonna seem like a lot, trust me, it's gonna go down. By the way, this is 300 grams. One cup of non-chicken bouillon. And 100 ml of this. This is a cup, so maybe one third. That's just apple juice. And let's mix this up. We cook this again for another five, 10 minutes. Now we're talking. That looks like stuffing to me. Nice, 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 nice. You can see the apple, you can smell the sweet, 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 sweetness. The sweatness. <laughs> sweetness. Let me see here. Oh yeah. The idea is to put the stuffing and then the stuffing comes out. So then when it roasts, the edges of the stuffing gets crispy and you have the moist, moist one in the middle. I think four should be good. We gotta taste it to make sure. That's perfect. <laughs> Parsley, 20 grams. All right guys, this is what it looks like. So nice. So it's gonna get messy because my intention here is to make sure we fill that up very much. And then I don't want it closed all the way down. I want it to be like this so that there's stuffing coming out and that stuffing gets crispy. So we might have too much, but hey, I need some glove boss. It's a bit too hot for my uh, delicate hand, guys. I have to put triple glove protection is the most important thing, especially in the kitchen. And let's do both. Then we're gonna clamp them together. It's gonna get messy, huh? Don't judge. Squish it. Make sure the, all the cavity there, is that what you're saying? Like the holes are filled up pretty well. That smells so good already, boys. Almost look like a turkey. I think that's enough. Let's see how big of a mess I make trying to get these two together. Okay. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. That's good. I think we'll put two, three string. And then we'll stuff this back inside. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Double. You just turn it twice, tie it up. So it tights up for you. Yeah, that looks good actually. That's awesome, man. Cut the extra string, CZ scissors, and then we're gonna Put this in the oven for, I would think an hour. We'll check in 45 minutes. Let's make a little bed for our baby squash. Yes, now we're talking. There you go. So if you see like this is awesome. All this is gonna get so crispy. We want this to brown up guys. So let's put some more. <laughs> And then we just rub it, a little massage. All right, see you in what? 45 minutes, 425 degrees. Stuffing tastes delicious. Then the idea is to have a slice like you would do a turkey. Big rounds. We're gonna make uh, gravy, vegetarian gravy. So we're gonna use uh, these dry mushroom, 30 grams. And then we're gonna soak them with 500, 500 ml of hot water. We're gonna let that steep for like five, 10 minutes. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, porcini, par like white mushroom and uh, shiitake. Costco, Costco, <laughs> Costco blend. They have everything. All right, a dash of oil again. Maybe a tablespoon. So onion, uh, 100 grams, 50 grams celery and 70 gram carrots. Carrots gonna give them a little sweetness and then two cloves of garlic. We need to color this very well. This, we're gonna add flavor to this. So medium heat. Let it sit. The more you stir it, the less time it has to caramelize. So let it sit. Okay, here we have the same spices we put in our stuffing just to have some uh, fami familiarity, like, so it's familiar. And then I didn't explain that earlier, but that's a, another cool bouillon 
non-chicken. Salt. Woohoo! Pepper. A lot of pepper. One bay leaf, maybe two. You can have a thin Christmas gravy or a thick. In our house, we make it thick. I like it thick. This is parsley, just a little stem. Like usually people don't really do nothing about this. So put in your stock. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what we want. Good. At this point, we're gonna add our butter. Turn that brown. <laughs> There's nothing prettier than melted butter. Facial of melted butter. Mm. Oh, 50 gram of flour. Now we're just gonna mix this well. We're making a roux here. So nutty smelly, like it's so nice. Very nice. We wait a couple minutes. We're gonna add this so we can uh, open up the fragrance of the herbs again. The cool bouillon, we could just put it here actually. That's half a cube. Everything in eh? the mushroom, everything. This is gonna make, uh, it's gonna open up more flavor and we're gonna let that sit for what, 20 minutes? Yeah, it needs more water, boys and girls. Cup or so. Let's start with this, see what happens. Not too much. Recipe is below, guys. Trust me. I won't let you hang it. Yes, a bit more. Now see that it didn't clump up, it's perfect. So in total, it was a liter. Now we bring this to a boil. Let's just give it a taste first to see where, which direction we're going at now. If it needs sweetness, salt, pepper. It needs more time, that's what it needs. <laughs> so let it, let's let it go. We'll put the lid on this. Medium heat. It's cranberry time. This is super easy. This is the exact same recipe we're using at the Edmonton Convention Center. Shh. Don't tell my boss. There's a little twist I'm gonna let you know. Cinnamon stick, frozen cranberry, 300 grams. Red wine, but today, I'm using uh, purple, pink, pink one. Rosé. I don't have red, guys, sorry. 50 ml. The secret ingredients that Miles never put in his recipe is a, a pinch of sumac. Sumac is very citrusy. Uh, orange, microplane, zest, all this in there. All the zest of it, okay, guys? No wastage. See, I associate uh, orange just to Christmas now. It's gonna need the juice, so it's very important you do that. All right. Yeah, no seeds. 10 grams of uh, grated ginger. So that's 20 grams, I'm not gonna grate the whole thing. See, that's enough. Just a pinch of salt, lid, and we let that cook for 30 minutes on medium. Sorry, Miles. I, I didn't put sugar. 130 grams. Son of a bitch. I forgot. All right, sugar. Sorry, guys. I tasted it, I was like, mm -hmm. it's not sweet enough. Yeah, you know why? Because you didn't put any sugar at all. So 130 grams. It smells already pretty Christmassy, people. Oh, that's good. Good enough. Medium heat again. We're gonna strain our sauce and finish it with a bit of butter. Yes. Look at this, so pretty. I might make a mess, but that's okay. Yes. There's so many chunks in there, guys. It's almost like a ragu. All right. Put this in our saucepan and bring it back on the stove. See, look, this is perfect uh, consistence. Nice gravy, guys. We didn't taste it, though. Just a pinch of salt and a little knob of butter, like we always finish sauces. Turkey's ready, guys! Turkey's ready! Look at that! Okay, final checkup.
poke at a place that nobody's gonna see. <laughs> yeah. Now let it rest. 12 minutes. Let's check our cranberry sauce. That's ready too. And this you can make that ahead of time, guys. Put it in a cooler overnight. You can do that a week ahead. It lasts forever. There we go, one more. Squeeze it out, nice. You smell this? That's perfect. Again, success. Don't forget to put the sugar, guys. <laughs> Major component in there. Yeah. Oh my God. We take one out. Yeah, it's ready. I can hear it. Turkey dinner. Serrated knife, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's nice, guys. Wow. Okay, so basically, mashed potato, uh, vegetables, whatever you want to serve that with. The idea is to have a little piece that has crispy bits. You want these nice crispy bits everywhere. See? That's very good. Gravy first. And then, of course, some cranberry. Look how gorgeous this is. Here's my turkey dinner for a vegetarian. This is like butter. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Gravy. Stuffing, and of course, the Miles cranberry sauce. Hey, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, give this a try. You won't disappoint anybody. It's such out there, new, something really different, and it's gonna make everybody at the table talk about this night. So you know what, guys, try this. Like, share, subscribe, and most of all, try this dish, man. Dig into it. Bon appétit. And most of all, Joyeux Noël. Mm. I think I had too much caffeine, man. <laughs> It's been a long morning. Yeah, have some more.